And in Tech Time with me, Andrew Humphrey, Cyborgs. Now, it sounds like science fiction, but two artists are hoping to start a revolution with our evolution. They call themselves Cyborgs because they are living with technology installed inside their bodies. Neil Harbison is used to the photos and strange looks. That thing on his head is not a hat, it's actually part of his head. This is a new sensory organ. It's an antenna implanted in my head that allows me to extend my perception of color. Born with a rare form of color blindness, Neil's world looks like this. I didn't want to use technology and I didn't want to wear technology. I wanted to become technology. Twelve years ago, he underwent experimental surgery, receiving a chip and antenna that allows him to hear colors. Each color has its own frequency of light which then has its own note, musical note, so I hear different notes for different colors. And he's joined forces with another self-proclaimed cyborg. I have a, an implant in my arm that allow me to perceive earthquakes in real time anywhere in the planet. That implant is connected to online seismographs. And depending on the intensity of the earthquake, the vibration I feel is stronger or weaker. Together, the two artists created the Cyborg Foundation. Their mission, melding technology and the human body. I feel that what, what we do, it's, it's cyborg art. This also opens the risks of being hacked. Someone could potentially send colors to my head. Brain hacking? A 21st century problem destined to make bank breaches seem downright old-fashioned. Now, how amazing is that? And this month, they launched Cyborg Nest. Now, that's a company that offers artificial senses. They're already offering North Sense. That's an implant that allows humans to become a compass by sensing the, the direction of North. It can be pre-ordered for as little as $300. Are you going to jump in? That's Tech Time with me, Andrew Humphrey. Back over to you.